In the big bill stack, we'll keep you in the know. In the big bill stack, we'll fix your techie woes. And we'll break things and we'll make things till we're all together raking. And we'll raise a cup of grog down in the big bill stack. In the big bill stack, come and join our fire crew. In the big bill stack, we will show you what to do. And we'll hack it till we crack it. And we'll tell the world about it. And forget to tidy up. That's why it's now a bill stack. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> the credit screen stayed slightly longer than I remember there, so it was very confusing. Uh, welcome to Bill Stank episode 121. We are going to be taking a look we're at the uh, Nature Cam kit, aren't we? Nature Watch. Nature Watch camera kit. Yes. yes. So we've got a, you, you appear to have assembled a selection of batteries, <laughs> some Tupperware tubs, a, a birdhouse, and a big drill. With a, a selection of paints on the front, a Christmas tree drill. Paint These right. things are fantastic, by the way. Wonderful thing. It looks like a ooh, <laughs> like a Bond villain's weapon. <laughs> so, <laughs> you may have seen on Twitter um, yesterday and today um, a couple of photos that we captured with our one. Um, so we had um, right. I'll probably go back to the start. Um, so the, <laughs> nature, the Nature Watch camera kit is a kit to build your own kind of um, nature camera. Um, it's cruising can, the name, really, isn't you it? You can stick in your garden or in your barn if you have one. I don't I know if people have, some people yes. have barns. It's yes, basically many, many of our viewers have barns. It's yeah. a they have barns. Garage, maybe? My parents have some yeah. bats nesting in their garage. That, <laughs> yeah. that might be. Or loft. Or the eaves of your warehouse yeah. when the occasional yeah. bird gets in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's battery powered. Um, you can put it in a food tub. Um, I can kind of strap, it to, tough, strap it to something, Wet and it's all kind of self-contained, weather sealed, waterproof. Um, it was featured on uh, BBC Springwatch with uh, Chris Packham and Michaela Strachan. Mm -hmm. um, Rhyming names. A couple of weeks ago, um, I think that was on episode nine. Um, it's still an iPlayer if you want to watch it. Um, and they talked to the group at. Um, it was a collaboration between Goldsmiths University in London and somebody else that I can't remember that's on the page. Um, which which page? Which, which page? page? So they obviously so got funding to kind of develop this kit um, as as a kind of DIY thing. Um, it's powered by a Raspberry Pi Zero Oops. and one of the tiny little cameras that we do. Um, so yeah, I think if you go to the project page, the project. Oh, I'm doing pointing here. Uh, Check out my cursor skills. Ah, uh, yeah. Interactive so, Research Studio. Got Royal College of Art. The design yeah. Products Program. At the yep. Royal College of Art. Mm -hmm. Funded by EPS, EPSRC. Um, cool. So yeah, so it's meant to be a kind of DIY kit that you can build yourself. Um, you know, ideal for kind of families or you know people that are interested in kind of like amateur bird watching or, or professional, um, and it's meant to be a cheap alternative to the kind of expensive camera traps that you get that you know people like the BBC uh, Wildlife. <laughs> um, well, you can get those already built yeah, into bird box kits. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. buy them. They cost a fortune. They cost like kind of. You know, three to five hundred pounds for these kind of like, Hello. you know, yeah. camera traps that you buy that are kind of ready-made and waterproof and whatnot. Um, so it's a cheap alternative to that. And um, they have a software image that's all set up already. You can just download it to an S, uh, burn it to an SD card, and it should just it spins up a Wi-Fi hotspot, and away it's you quite go. An, quite a nice setup, I um, thought. It was, yeah. Uh, interesting to hack with as well. Yep. Um, so we've had one set up out in the car park. Um, we've got a couple of bird feeders that we've had out there um, and we get kind of a variety of things like sparrows, lots of goldfinches, um, green finches, chaffinches. Finches. Finches, lots finches, of finches. Lots of finches. Um, and also things like pigeon, like wood pigeons and magpies that kind of hoover up all the seeds that have fallen on the, on the floor. Um, so yeah, so we've had that set up for the past couple of days and got a couple of nice... Um, photos of uh, goldfinches from that. Mm -hmm. I haven't actually yeah. seen the photo. Did yet. you put any on a tab ready? No, but if you get no. our Twitter, up, <laughs> if you get our Twitter up, then you'll find them. Right. I'm, I'm just going to see what that button does. Um, oh, that button makes it go away. That's not entirely what I meant to do. <coughs> so, at the end of it, what you'll end up with is 
something like this. Um, so this is a food container that we had in our kitchen upstairs um, that I've <laughs> hacked to bits. You hope it wasn't somebody's lunchbox. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's got avoid. the neck of a plastic Don't bottle attached as a kind of um, so the camera can see through and as a kind of like rain shield. Um, there we go. Yeah, oh, well, I don't know why I made us tiny, but there's a gold There we are. Um, so that was taken with this. Setup, yeah, so that was with yeah. this very camera. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. at about half nine this morning. So I thought the um, the bottle in the front was. Well, I suppose it is a rain protector as well. But I thought the idea was the birds came mm. and perched on the bottle. And you, you could got do like that a, as well. Yeah, you could like do a that full, as well. Full shot of the bird just popping in, going hi. <laughs> you could. You could. You'd have that. to like glue some bird seed on that or something because it'd slide off. Or <laughs> probably make some actual proper holder. Um, so I have just powered this one up. So we'll have a look at it, how, how it works to begin with. And then we're going to build another one to show you how easy it is to, to do it. Oh, really? um, and then we're going to talk about a couple of ways that you could kind of adapt, adapt it um, to be a bird box camera yep. with a night vision that's camera. That's we have a bird box. Um, yeah. And something that Phil's done as well. <laughs> um, I, I found a, a pie with a button shim already added to it. So, so can we try to Decided connect to, to that hotspot? Uh, so, so is that up and running now? Yep. Okay. So when, when you boot this up, it spins uh, up a Wi-Fi hotspot. Wi you... um, we've called ours Pimeroni Nature Watch. Okay, let's um, so no networks. networks. And is it, can I is put it, it the default password? Uh, it's the password for our Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so we'll do that one quietly and yeah. not on the screen. <laughs> do you want to? Well, oh, they first it. just done it with a keyboard in full view, so you know. If people want to capture it, they can. Do it. <laughs> oh, oh, so can we get the Maybe. tablet up? To uh, yes, you can. Oh, there we are. Look at that. There we are. That's oh. full screen because it's quite a small image there. Cameraception now. <laughs> oh, it is a bit. Oh, it's, it's come over here. I'll pretend to be a bird. Bird, 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 bird. So if you just start recording, Phil. Bird, 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 look, there's a bird. <laughs> a duck, maybe. I we had a stunt bird. Um, we do, I, it's, we... In the, it's in the bird box, Phil. Shh, don't, don't spoil oh. the surprise. Oh. Stunt bird. Hang on. Bird, 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 bird. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> it's a duck. <laughs> We've reached the pinnacle of content. Hey, look. So now if you go to view That's photos, a swan. it should have... Um... Let, me, let me stop recording or, or we'll just be showering it with photos yeah mm -hmm. it's a very simple interface you basically get start stop yeah. recording the ability to tweak your sensitivity and view photos and here are all the photos. Look, look at the, <laughs> the bird. Other ones on here oh yeah yeah, yeah. Well, so there is a uh, rate limit so it can't take photos faster than the set rate limit so you don't obviously fill up your memory instantly as soon as a bird so much as flies past although <laughs> there seems to be rather a lot of pictures of the same nothing on here, and they're all upside down as well. Yeah, yeah. that was that was me trying a different location ah, for the camera, yeah. but the no, bird... you see, he's put all the tempting seed out, but the birds yeah. are like this and that. Oh, is that what that we is? don't want yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, please, please invert heads to view. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyway, so that's that's the thing. So now let's um, let's actually make one. Have a peek behind um, the scenes. Mm -hmm. So. Are going to do this from scratch? Are we going yeah. to be well, drilling a Tupperware tub? Almost are, scratch, yeah. I think. So, if you buy one of the kits, what you get is you get the Zero W, you get um, a USB cable, you get the camera. And, Would you like me to put uh, the description up? An SD card um, mm. and a heat sink. Um, now, you may find, depending on how warm it is outside, and I put us in the wrong corner. Right. <laughs> I don't it's know what in. I did there. All the buttons, people. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is what happens yeah. when you let me press the buttons. Okay, they the all buttons get wrong. But yes, so, so I was trying to show what was in the kit there. That's, the that's what you get. Yeah. Um, so the things that you need are... The heat sink is not up to snuff, what you're um, saying. Son. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, if it's in direct sunlight and it's really warm, then you may have to 
put on a bigger heat sink. Basically, um, the, or the or image the recognition camera. is running OpenCV in order to do like very, very CPU intensive image recognition to, to yep. track motion rather than using like a passive infrared sensor or a motion sensor. So it hammers the we CPU. Do, in fact, I, I was going to poke around in the software and see if there's a way to reduce the resolution of the picture that it's doing the motion detection on because I've already submitted a pull request for another feature on it. Yep. Uh, which could hopefully bring down the CPU load, bring down the temperature a little bit, because it, it's quite brave to do that on a Pi Zero. It's a, a lot of work for a tiny computer. Yep. So the things that you need to get yourself are a plastic food tub. I got these two from Asda for one pound for two. They are cheap. They so are cheap. cheap. Really cheap. Um, a plastic bottle. Um, some sucre is really handy. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see why and some bits of duct tape are handy um, we've got brightly coloured stuff but you probably want to use black stuff that's not quite as kind of not to scare <laughs> the birds away would be a yeah. really good one you um, can get camo duct tape though so we're all and good a USB battery um, power bank thingy um, you can get them on Amazon for about a tenner or you can get really cheap ones like this that are maybe not quite as good yeah. for not quite sure you can get a 1200 milliamp hour one for a pound from Poundland, um, which will probably run the thing for about an hour. But it wouldn't, <laughs> it wouldn't do it for a very long time yeah. because of the. Uh, Most of that <coughs> battery will be converted to heaters. So yes, I should yeah. imagine so. But you know, if you only want to stick it out there for a little bit. This is a 5000 milliamp hour one. That's an anchor one. Um, they're really good quality. Mm. Um, this is a kind of cheaper one. They're pretty ubiquitous, kind of similar to the yeah. Poundland ones, um, 2,200 milliamp hour. Have, um, we, have we done so a test on a how, much it, yeah, how much it's actually using? Um, this one will probably last about up we to about 12 one. hours, I would think, so kind of overnight um, mm. or all day. Um, this one will be less than half of that, um, so a few hours. Um, this one's a bit bigger. This is a 6,700 milliamp hour, again, anchor. Um, this one, I think, is uh, 10,000. Oh, no, hang on. 20, is it 20 or 10? 30. Or 15? 13. 13, it's being whispered at you. It's kind of worn away, so I can't read it very easily. Ah, which reminds um, me, mm -hmm. if your battery doesn't have the capacity on it, then they uh, they confiscate it in China. This Ooh. is the 20,000. Yeah. Um, <laughs> This is 20,000, so this would last you days. Um, yeah. So there are a variety of different ones. Um, if you want a really compact setup, then probably go for one that kind of size. Um, right, so let's... What's let's outdoors? This space isn't really at a premium at this point, is it? Just stick all of the batteries True, in. True, but your lunch boxes are different. <laughs> so, yeah, um, so the first thing you want to do is take your plastic bottle. Um, if, you're doing the, if you're doing this with kids, then get the adult to, to do this bit. Don't Zoinks. let the kids do it because it's Those of a sensitive disposition kind of sharp, need to look away now. Sharp implements. Um, can we get the close up camera? You certainly can. That will so be the one with that one. So people can see <laughs> where the blood actually starts. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. You might have to uh, oh, yes. shift yourself. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. Can I put us on little Here we go. in the background? No, because we'll be in the way. It's not going to focus. That's really Just really go up weird. and down a bit. Quite. Here are Sandy's fingers. Well, just go up and down. Like, follow your hand. We need to oh, turn off. And you've turn got lovely again. nails, Phil. So back to the humans. <laughs> while Sandy turns it off and on again. No signal. Yes, he's definitely turned it off. This is the update. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, first step is uh, cut the top off the bottle. Oh, it's back on. Now. Oh, there we go. Yes. Right. Ah, okay. The uh, age old turn Lovely. it off and on right, again. Right, can we Worst, get it? Like yep. There you go. Oh, yeah. you're not in. So, yeah. So, make a hole in your bottle. Um, we can either. You could switch the scissors at this point yeah. to save stabbing yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I've got a little kid's pair of scissors. <laughs> um, so, yeah, chop the top off like this. Um, here we go. So that's the top chop. It's the basically the keeping the rain off the camera bit. Um, yeah. Yep. Um, you are not under this camera, Sandy. Yeah. 
just going to give that a wipe out to get um, it's still a bit wet. Um, okay, so that's that's that bit done. So then um, you want to kind of measure the diameter of the the bottle top. So, so that's the outside of okay. the neck of the bottle, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's about about thirty millimeters. Let's see. So this thing has a twenty-seven and a thirty so, on it. Mm. Yeah. So let's go back to the main. Can we go back to the main mm -hmm. camera? You can. There you go. <laughs> you want me to so, hold that up while you do it, so you don't go through that and through the. Uh, gonna, this is going to be happy, be okay. happy fun times. So I'm going to move this one out. Um, there. You've done this before. If you have loudspeakers or um, headphones on, you might want to turn them down because <laughs> I'm going to be drilling. So <sighs> just to warn you. You've got a nice little divot in the middle um, of the lid there for. Uh, so I'm going to kind of aim for yeah, right in the middle. Um, and here we go. Maybe it's a bit bigger. Okay. Okay. I think we're coming out the other side. I don't think I am actually, yeah. Um, that may be just about big enough. Never work with children, animals, or sandy. <laughs> <laughs> or sandy. Just screw it in. Yeah, there we go. Like a glove. Oh, you should have done that in slow mo. Ideal. That that was pretty impressive. So you drilled the hole, then you got your you get bottle lid. Beautiful. So and uh, and just just sort of got, screwed it in, yeah. Got plastic shavings everywhere. Beautiful. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I just screwed that in. Um, turns out that's the exact right diameter, so it must have been 27, because I think when I measured it was about 28. Amazing. Um, so, yeah, so that's that's what you're aiming for. Um, that is such a tight fit that you probably don't need to seal it in any way, but um, when I made the other one, um, what I did was... Um, Do you want the downward camera? Yeah, go on, yeah. There you go. Um, I used some sugru to kind of seal. Um, you got glasses. Yeah, I've got glasses on already. <laughs> um, yeah, to seal around the edge of where the the bottle meets the plastic of the container. Um, the good thing about doing that is it gives you somewhere to kind of stick the. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it does. <laughs> so was it, yeah, what? <laughs> Just ignore this. <laughs> Um, so let's get the sugar now, um, and let's. Um, yeah, some people worrying about um, safety equipment. Sandy is actually wearing glasses, so those are his safety glasses. Yeah, so if you don't if you don't have glasses, then um, wear some. Yeah, and also it wasn't actually as loud as it seems on the microphone, but uh, you know, we can. There we go. Happy now. <laughs> it. <laughs> Actually, if I put them on, then I won't hear anybody well, else. God, they're really good. You can hear but like nothing. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, um, but right, yes, so it just comes out a lot louder on the microphone, that's all. Yep. Yeah. So, Sugru. Um, so, we sell this in the shop as well. It's great stuff. If you don't know what it is, it's like it's like blue tack or plasticine. It's kind of mouldable. Um, and you can use it to repair things. You can use it to like plug holes. You can use it to stick things to other things. Stick magnets to your pens and stick them onto the it's furniture. It's pretty hard with a, a, a soft um, rubber finish. Yeah. So can we go to the close-up again just so yep. we can see this? There you go. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of moulding it round the the edge. Forwards a bit, forwards a bit. Um, <laughs> until it meets and then kind of press it down so it's all nice and sealed up. So how long does it stay squishy for? Um, before it starts to heat, like uh, it takes set. a couple of hours to kind of set. Oh, okay, so fully. you've got plenty of time to do this before yeah, it starts to set. Yeah, don't know what they actually quote on it, but in my experience, it takes a couple of hours to. Okay, Phil's having a read of the packet, set. so we'll be able to. I can't, uh, I can't find it. The, well, right. We have 30 minutes to fix, build, and create, and in 24 hours, it turns into a strong and durable silicon rubber that stays oh, stuck. Could, so, you, could you just do that again with a swing to the camera? <laughs> the, Stay yeah, stuck. Stay yeah. stuck. Right, so here we go. So the next step is to get your Pi Zero. Oh, sorry, I thought you were on the um, Yeah, ah, get yeah. Pi Zero, um, put the camera in, 
Uh, be really careful with the clip on the mm. on the zero and the zero W. It's very fragile. So when you pull it out by the tabs at the sides, be really yeah. gentle. So um, the metal contacts on the back of the ribbon are facing yep. down. Down the way. Yeah. Yep. So the camera folds backwards behind yep. the uh, pie and then Okey faces doke. backwards. So basically when you put it in, the front of the camera is looking at you, the front of the pie is looking at you. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then you fold the result in half. And you fold that in half. Um, the cameras <laughs> have got little... One of them's been peeled off already, but they've got little sticky pads mm -hmm. on that bit and that bit. Um, so peel them off and fold it over and stick it down. I think the instructions on the Nature Watch website do it slightly differently. They use a bit of card to stick it all to. Yeah. It's fine, it's just, just whatever. This is the way I did it and it seemed okay. to work out pretty Either well. Um, so now I'm going to get another packet of sugar. <laughs> Even more sugar. Um, this is just turning into a sugar advert. <laughs> yeah. And why not? So, Super right, can we go back to a close-up? So what I did with this one is I kind of moulded it round where the camera is. Um, like so. Mm -hmm. Like that. And then just took that whole thing <laughs> and then you've got that nice kind of like rim there to push yeah. into the, the other bit of sugu like that and push into the neck of the bottle. So this is kind and of a permanent solution? Yeah, yeah, kind okay. of. I mean, it'll come off um, if, you, if you give it a bit of a pull. Yeah. Um, it'll probably leave a mess all over the back of your... <laughs> <laughs> I um, think the beauty of the Pi Zero is you can, you can use it in something like this and it's not really a big deal. Yeah. yeah. But that's, that's what you end Probably up with. Install okay. it. Um, then with the, the other thing yeah. that I did was um, <laughs> with the food tub, um, so to make it, to attach it either what you can do is you can close the tub up and then use some duct tape and just mm -hmm. wrap it right round the tub and the tree or whatever it is, um, washing yeah. pole or whatever, um, to attach it. But the problem with doing that is that if you want to get into it to take the battery out and recharge it, then you have to take the tape off mm -hmm. and it's a bit of a fiddle. Um, what I did was I got the drill again and um, I think this is a oh no idea what diameter <laughs> drill bit that is. Um, as long as it's thick enough to fit whatever straps you're going to use to fix yeah. it then. Yeah. So I got a big chunky oh, cable tie. Um, so where's this cable tie going? So it's going to go through the back of the box, through the main bit of the tub. Um, uh, okay so this will become a mounting strap. Oh, you could potentially also put this through the top and turn it into a hanging strap if you, you were could, so inclined. Yeah. You could actually hang it <laughs> on the tree problem. next to the bird feeder if you have a bird feeder <laughs> on a tree or yeah. I still I still say you should use a Dremel for this. Yeah. Important safety yeah. preparations again. Yeah. It's gonna be noisy on the microphone, but yeah. it's not actually that noisy. Phil's shading his eyes and we're yeah. all good, so you know. We're safety okay. we're safety specs if you have them. <laughs> Two holes in my tub, and, and on one the on the table. And where's God? Oh, Phil's got the cable tie. Everything so, gravitates towards yeah. me. Um, hmm. Then basically just um, <laughs> poke the cable tie Finally, through. I have not oh, drilled it the right size. <laughs> um, um, again, if you want it really weather tight, then seal those holes with some more sugar. Um, or hot, hot glue would do the job as well. Yes, so if you haven't um, got buttloads of Sigri, most yep. people have a glue gun. Um, then it's just a matter of getting your battery, get the battery pack, um, get some duct tape. Um, mm -hmm. And stick it round your battery pack. 
and then what I did was I just kind of taped it into the box to make sure it wasn't going to interfere with anything. Rattle around. Rattle around. Um, this is the uh, cyborg woodpecker. So there you go. Um, plug the USB cable in. And where did the... that's the other one, so... You can take my yeah, memory one. card for that one, and then we can... Uh, where did the other one? Oh, no, oh, we can't get the... Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll use this SD card that I've used yeah. already. Um, pop your SD card in. Um, there's instructions about how to set the SD card up on their website, and essentially it's just a matter of burning it onto the, to the SD card. There are a few kind of config settings that you can change, like the password and... Um, the hotspot name if you want to change I think them. currently you must avoid using notepad in windows to do that because it yep. will mess up the line endings and the program will read the config file as all one line and go horribly wrong. Oh. Well, that is in the program. This is what happens <laughs> when your Sugu hasn't fixed. set yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you need 24 hours of patience, we'll be back in 24 yeah, hours. Yeah, <laughs> if you'd just like to sit there and talk amongst yourselves for 24 hours, we'll be fine. Bill's Tank Marathon. Well, there we go. Okay, right. Uh, <laughs> Stick it all together before it breaks. <laughs> there we go, so that's that's Ta -da! that. Ta -da. So then you can obviously use that cable tie to go around to whatever you want to attach mm -hmm. it to. Um, if it's something really big, then you can daisy chain the cable ties together to, to make them go around something bigger. Or just gaffer tape the cable tie um, onto the tree. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. just gaffer tape the whole thing onto the tree. Yep. And Nick so Young points out there's no GPIO. No, it? there's there's no soldering needed. So how long is that? I mean, that's taken sort of 15 minutes or mm -hmm. something to, to build. Plus the time to burn the SD card. If you burn the SD card while you're building it, ah. yeah, you'll probably be done about the same time. Yeah, probably. So it's pretty quick then. Yeah, so that's, that's that. And then you've got your nature camera. Mm. And we can set up loads of them yeah. everywhere. You can obviously camouflage the box as well if you want. Get some like camouflage duct tape, which you can get. I definitely um, think it should have a feeder yeah. mounted to the front oh. and maybe be tuned to get like really close up shots of birds when yeah, they come in closer. And Challenge you, accepted. Like dial the sensitivity down to the lowest setting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other thing is we sell um, like clip on uh, telescopic lenses. Um, they work really well with um, these little cameras. You can just clip yeah. it right over the whole. Um, camera and zero W kind of assembly and um, just clip it on. Yep. Um, if you want to set it up kind of like far away from the thing that you're filming um, from your bird you from for? your bird feeder. Um, merp. Merp. So yeah. So Are you going to see if we can that. connect to the... See if it's fired up. Oh, oh, apparently not. Did you connect to the hotspot? No, you have to reconnect to it. So we're going to see if this one that he's just built is actually <laughs> up and functioning. Yep. That's the one. Oh, we're connected to it apparently. No, yeah, we should be. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's amazing. How do we get to the live feed again? Oh, oh, oh no, it's all gone. What have you done there? Just, yeah, just go back to the... Yep. That's it. Ah, so there we are. And Wee. just to prove it, here's, here's my hand. Is my hand. I think it's and fuzzy because I've got Sugri on the front of the. I think uh, you have got Sugri on it. I've got Sugri on the front of the lens, but. Beautiful. Yeah, don't do not do that. Start recording. <laughs> Let's see if we can capture any Sandies. Oh, there we go. Can you capture a Tanya? Oh, oh. Oh, a wild, a wild Tanya appears. Ah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> and a Phil. The mythical Phil Howard. <laughs> okay, so let's see what it's uh, what so it's called. <laughs> yeah, that's our ducks from before, isn't it? There we go. Look at us, beautiful. <laughs> yes. I think I think that's pretty successful for a fifteen-minute build. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, so back all to you us. need is a. I mean, you don't even need the drill actually. To be honest, you could use. You know, some a pair of scissors to cut the the hole in the. You could. In you the could. Wouldn't be a great um, idea, but you could. You could, in theory, use a lighter and melt it. But you know, <laughs> or something like. Let's think about safety first. Something like Stanley knife, but you'd have to be, to be really careful, or a, or a scalpel, or something yeah. like that. But 
But yeah, well, I suppose if you cut across first, then. The best oh, things you... are drill in one of these, um, I think they call them just like um, stepped hole boring Christmas tree yeah. drill, man. Christmas um, tree. Right. Um, this um, costs about 30 quid, so they are expensive, but um, you can probably get them cheaper. So when I was about um, cleaning the lens, I get a cotton wool bud. This is not a cotton wool bud, this is a Sharpie, and I just give it a little bit of a, a wipe with a cotton wool bud and probably some alcohol. Acetone. Maybe not acetone. Might melt the plastic. Might yeah. melt the plastic. Yeah. I go with I go with alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol. A little bit of vodka yeah. for the birds. Beep, beep, beep. Be fine. So, yeah. So what else could you do with it then? Um, Buttons. Yeah. Um, well, we'll do the we'll do the night vision Ooh. thing first. Yeah. Um, so this is these are relatively new on the shop. Um, they're Raspberry Pi cameras. Um, they come with cables to. We'll put it under the close up. We'll have a nosy. Attach them to either a Pi Zero or Zero W, so with the thinner cable. Yeah. Um, so that's the cable that goes from the thick one to <laughs> to the, the little one that fits into the Zero. Yeah. Um, there's also a normal Raspberry Pi camera cable in there as well. So you can attach it to either side. Um, so you can okay. use it with either a full size one or a, a Zero. Grab those out, Phil, and stick them under the camera. Oh, oh they're, whoa. they're quite long ones. So it's that's like a in a bag of snakes. That's oh, the zero. That? <laughs> that's the zero cable that goes from the big one to the little one. Um, Quite a yeah. couple of those in there actually. Yeah. So then, obviously, just plug it into to there that way up. Um, towards towards the, there we go. Yep. So it's always metal side down um, when the thing's facing you, isn't yep. it? There we are. Um, so these cameras. The good thing about these is um, there's two different ones. There's a standard lens, which is this one. Um, there's also a fisheye lens, which is the one that we're going to talk about in a minute. Fish eyes. Um, but they have two big infrared LEDs with kind of lenses on to kind of like project the light out, um, meaning that they'll do night vision. Um, so if you want to stick one in a bird box, or if you have things like hedgehogs in your garden, yeah, badgers, deer. I believe some people have my one of my. Um, cousins has got a deer that lives at the bottom of it, kind of <laughs> wanders through the bottom of her garden. Hmm. Um, I think I've got like three foot rats that just run past <laughs> yeah, the garden. Yeah, has rats. deer that eat all cats. his flowers. Oh, it could be my chihuahua. I don't really cats, know. Cats, foxes, but, yeah. yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so then obviously you would kind of set it running at night time, leave it running overnight, yeah. and then check it in the morning to see if anything had been captured. Oh, that's cool. Um, the fisheye lens one is really good for inside a bird box um, because obviously it's got a wide angle mm. and because it's such a small space then it will kind of like capture more of the inside of the bird box. Cool. So, um, so yeah, let's have a look at that. Would that be what, what you put in something like this one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was four pounds out of Asda. That's <laughs> um, paints! A really cheap bird box. Yeah. Um, Can I take the, I'll take the paints and I'll give you the bird box because I, I like the craft. There you go. Yep. Find some really small birds. Um, birds are birds. small. They're mostly oh. fluff. <laughs> there you go, one small bird. There's a bird done it already. Yeah. Oh. So, what I've done is I have taken one of these cameras and stuck it to the top of the bird well, box. Like it. mm -hmm. um, and it'll probably take a bit of um, kind of tinkering with the exact angle of it to get the best kind yeah. of view of the inside of the bird box. Um, I did this rather hastily with a bit of blue tack. You'd probably want to use something like hot glue or sue glue again would work <laughs> to stick it. Yeah. Um, probably not blue tack. So um, you could test the um, angle of the setup by um, putting it on the stream like we just had and then when you've got that perfect stick it down? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so I'm just going to quickly swap this over. Hot swaps. Um, Let's do this quickly. I was, I was going to swap the thing there. Oh, yeah. that's the wrong. Oh, no, that's the right key. <laughs> gently, gently. So they're plugging this in. Let's okay. go back to that um, one. Oh. There we are. And get rid of that. We one. have the uh, guy who worked on the software for the oh, Mind Nature Watch yeah. camera. Nice work. Mind Nature Watch. Yes. He says Mike in brackets. So. <laughs> There's always the trouble you never know. What name to use and how to pronounce it? True. Have you Couple seen my pull request? There's a question. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he has. <laughs> Maybe he's too busy watching Bilge Tank right now. Outrage. Um, 
Right, let's just set that there. Um, okay. Do you so want to see if it's popped up? Want... So, um, boop, sure. boop. Oh, I've done it the wrong way again. Why doesn't that actually? Oh, Sorry, oh, I'm having moments. I'm pressing all the buttons. Connect. He says he's working on your pull request, Phil. Oh. Still got that upside down bird feed. How can you tell which way's up? Hmm? With the camera, is the cable coming out from the bottom or from the top? Oh, I can't remember with these ones. I think the cable comes out the bottom. The cable comes out the bottom of the camera, so that's, that's the right the way, way up. up. Okay. I think. <laughs> I'm sure somebody Take will test it and tell us. To so. connect. Is it? Sure, this isn't a, it uh, might not a bird up, Faraday yeah. cage. Oh, <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Let's go back to... Dun, 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 dun. Have a look. Oh, wow. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, look at that. Oh, can you see the top of the So bridge, this right? is what we mean about angling the camera then. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to get inside it. So. Oh, there we go. Oh. Ah, it on. looks really freaky on that camera. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> March of the starry eyed penguins. I mean, you can see how well the night vision works. Yeah. I mean, it's basically pitch black inside there. Presumably, it's, it's in this case, though, you yeah. probably want to drill a hole in the top of the bird box and point the camera through it or something. I mean, that's me covered. Yeah. That's me covered the hole on the front of the bird box. So it's literally mm -hmm. pitch black. So in let there. me. Uh, Try and stick that yeah. in the corner. <laughs> I might flunk this. No, I've, uh. I've put ourselves in the corner <laughs> twice. There we go. Ah, so yeah, so you can get one of those cameras if you want hmm. to kind of um, with a scary, scary bird. Turn it into a bird box camera or a kind of nocturnal animal yeah. camera. Oh, or a bug box. A bug box. Says so, yeah, so yeah. the uh, software. A beehive? Would it work inside a beehive, maybe? I don't know. I would like to it's see if somebody has a beehive, beehive. Yeah. to put it in it. If Jamie like, knew someone with yeah, beehives. Jamie yeah. at the pie hut. Does he have a beehive? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he, that's he happening. Runs, uh, he runs man's ethics honey. He, he makes, makes honey, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm allergic to bees, so I tend to stay away from them. <laughs> um, cool. Yep. So, um, Phil, what have you done with it? I've added buttons! He's done buttons. Of course, buttons are somewhat hard to manipulate when it's armed and in a bird box. But uh, I figured since the header, as people have pointed out, is completely unused, there's this whole capacity to kind of add stuff like button shim to it uh, to give you some of the functionality that's available in the web interface on the buttons. Uh, if I can steal the battery... Aha! Uh -huh. My Wi-Fi network would be slightly different, so I'm going to have to connect to that one. I'm instead. totally borrowing that night vision camera tonight to see if I've got any uh, giant rats. We so have hedgehogs in our garden, so I'm going to take one home and set up in our garden. What, a hedgehog? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ah. What? Yeah. <laughs> take a hedgehog home. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, this, this is uh, Button Shim, which is designed to be like a, uh, a simple between a hat and your pie add-on, but there's nothing saying that you can't use it on its own. Uh, in this case, it's soldered down with a, a simple male header onto the pie. So this is this was something you set up, I think, to test the button shim with and had lying around. So I've set it up uh, by basically connecting the Pi Zero to a monitor, mouse and keyboard, going in and writing the software for it, connecting to the internet, downloading the library for button shim. But I've posted some instructions, temporary ones, <laughs> on GitHub. Uh, just explaining the process for doing that via the config partition. So you can drop some files on the config partition, you can boot it up and you can load them and get it up and running, hopefully, anyway. But you've uh, written it all down, yeah? Yeah, I have written okay, it all good. down. So uh, there may be a way that we can implement integrate functionality for buttons and stuff actually into the code. We'll have to have a chat about that sometime. Mm -hmm. The idea is that ButtonShim will now start and stop the camera when the A button is pressed, if I remember correctly. Uh, in fact, the A button snaps a photo oh. on demand. Do you want me which to connect the, this uh, one? Yeah, please. And the B button will start, will arm the camera and start recording, and the C button will disarm the camera and stop recording. And that means that when you're setting it up in a box, you don't have mm -hmm. to fiddle about with your mobile phone and, and load it up the web interface and hit the arm thing. You can just hit the B button like so. And Hopefully a little LED will light up red to say it's armed, and then when you want to disarm it, press that button, green to show it's disarmed. So that's the beauty of button shimmers, mm. it has a little LED that can be used for status it's, on there as it well. It is this one, isn't it? 
Yes, it's uh, badgers and foxes, I believe, was the default password. <laughs> Very good password, that. Yeah. Alas, I don't know if there are any badgers and foxes in the, the woodland. Yes or no? Uh, yeah. Mm. Yes, because we need to see the pictures. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having uh, I've Come on, been awake on. for quite some time again. Oh, finally, I can press the button to snap a photo, so we'll get a nice candid picture of Sandy. Hopefully that worked. I don't think it's connected yet, but... Come on, connect! Give it a debris. Give it a hoof. Ah, here there we, we go. go. Okay, so let me put that one oh, on the main screen. The no, that's the wrong one. Oh, I'll try that one. Disarm it. And put us in the corner. We can manually take a picture. Of the beautiful penguin. And hopefully when we go to view photos, mm. we shall see the picture that we just snapped. Or of not. Your hands and your ceiling. <laughs> and oh, there we go. <laughs> there <laughs> Look, well. you can't tell which one's which. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Beautiful. Of course, there is the option to delete all photos, just in case. And also, if I start recording and refresh this page, mm. it will actually update to say that it's recording. And then if I press the stop recording button, and again... Refresh this page, mm. it'll say start recording. Mm. That's Which all I think. The last two cunning. buttons, I guess, could be used to adjust the sensitivity and shut down, I suppose. Cool. And then the LED can communicate that as well. Ah. Cool. So I want to set up one of these basically plugged into mains because I have a very convenient window. Oh, that's getting warm. That looks out <laughs> onto the woodland behind my. Sorry, I'm making everyone horrendously Ill by shaking their okay, well, hands around. I'll, um... Uh, what's out onto the woodland behind my house and Film you. There there's you are, a convenient look. plug socket oh. just to the left of the window so I should be able to mount one of these and should power it from the mains around. and just have the buttons there to arm and disarm it. Have, we got, have we got a mucky camera again? <laughs> yeah, I think so. All the cameras are mucky. Um, what I didn't mention about the, the, the new night vision cameras, the great thing about them is that the range, you can adjust the focus on them uh, by kind of screwing the lens in or out. <laughs> Um, and oh, they have a massive oh. range, so you can focus from like literally about a centimetre away um, up That's to kind scary. of like infinity. So, um, so they're ideal for like, um, you know, if it's in a bird box and you can just focus it in really close. Um, if it's in your garden and you want to capture things further away, you can just kind of like screw it all the way out and have it focus far away. Mm -hmm. um, Using a balloon to waterproof the buttons isn't a bad idea. Ah. You just should be able to just uh, cut a slot in super glue, balloon, or other rubber membrane style stuff. <laughs> rubber glove, maybe, to the side of the box. Yeah. There's and another type, of, pressing another the type of rubber membrane that works really well for that kind of thing. Um, I think you might but, have to wash it first. But yeah, people do actually use them for that kind of thing. Oh. Mm. Well, there we go. So, yes, Ooh, sorry. Because they're, they're air, well, watertight. Um, you can tweak the night vision camera exposure to get more consistent photos as well. I guess because you've got a constant light source, then having yeah. auto exposure is uh, somewhat redundant because you're not you're not dealing with uh, cycles of day or night or different um, brightness levels. Well, I suppose it depends. If you've got um, like dawn and dusk, then it might change. Well, it depends what yeah. you're filming and how it does. How much it changes. Depends where you're filming. If you're stuck it inside like a badger set or something, <laughs> then you know obviously it's not going to change much. I think the great thing about this kit is that like. It's a very kind of low entry point, so to actually build it is really easy. But if you want to take it further and kind of hack it like we have, mm. or you know, integrate it into like a really kind of like if you had, I don't know, like if you kept snakes or something and you wanted to kind of use it <laughs> um, in your uh, uh, vivarium. Vivarium, yeah. We um, know somebody with spiders. We or could get her to put one in with her tarantulas. Yeah. <laughs> or if you had bungees or carrots. You get loads or... of tarantula selfies with them going yeah. like this. And... Yeah, the thing is tarantulas can do that and mm -hmm. that and then twice more. <laughs> so it's very hackable. Um, yeah. Yeah. It is. And it's it's a full Linux computer as well. So when you plug it into a monitor with an HDMI adapter and a keyboard with a USB adapter, mm -hmm. or in my case into a network adapter because I wanted to get network up and running on there, you can actually go in and install software on there and modify things, change the code that's running because it's mm -hmm. just in a folder in the home directory and, and kind of really get down to the nitty and gritty of hacking it. Could you get it to tweet your photos as well? <laughs> it would need a Wi-Fi network to connect to Yeah, but if no you had a Wi-Fi not. network, then you could. Indeed. You could get it to like, <laughs> tweet, there's a bird outside my window and it's actually the postman. 
I set up the Wi-Fi <laughs> network to cover the Badger's set, but now they keep going on the internet. It's not Badger's, they just searched for that video because they were like famous once. <laughs> So if you, uh, the, yeah, if you want to buy a kit, you can um, pre-order mm -hmm. one on the website. Um, we were kind of taken by surprise at how pop oh. how popular these were. Oh. Um, the kit, within twenty four hours of the Springwatch episode being on, they kind of like all the stock that we had sold out. Mm. Um, we then set up a pre-order for them, um, and the first batch of those pre-orders have gone out now. Um, there's now another pre-order that's kind of operating yeah. um, <laughs> which should go out by next Friday so a week tomorrow yeah well um, when you pre-order it will email you with when it's due to ship yep. so you should be able to find all the details in that yep. so. Excellent. Mm. we are also told that the second USB port i.e. the data one is uh, by default set up as an Ethernet adapter or an Ethernet Ooh. slave uh, which means you can connect it up to uh, your host computer, up to your laptop with a USB cable, and network into it over SSH and do what you like, really. Uh, which is a, certainly a, an easier solution than buying a, uh, a monitor, mouse, and keyboard. Well, um, buying. I'm gonna most people to, have I'm going to test yes. that and adjust my instructions. Good plan. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's just about it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, penguins staring at people. If you. <laughs> capture any interesting photos of wildlife um, and make sure to tweet us um, and, and don't forget hashtag think, my nature watch yeah. and yeah. at my nature watch as well yeah. of course yeah and spring watch as well it's probably worth tagging them yeah yep so well, yeah that's it yeah we'll um, add the links to all of the products that we talked about to the description below um, so you can my if you want to. <laughs> Can I paint the birdhouse? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're going to glitter it, weren't you? I might. It might be. <laughs> that we could do. Birds or put them well, off. You could do an experiment. Ma we could Mag put up birds? loads of different ones. We could put up shiny ones, or we could put up camouflage ones, and <laughs> see which. If it's camouflage, how do the birds find it? We have lots of magpies in the car park, so I guess they would get attracted to kind of glittery. They would just take it away. Glittery shiny ones. See, yeah, a they might try and take it away. Bird box yeah. just flying away. This is my shiny thing. Sorry. I'll use it to slide down the roof. What? Very clever. Is mm, that crows or magpies? They basically find jam jar lids and they slide down roofs on them. I think crows and magpies. If anybody same, manages to get a, a film of that on their camera, family. I'd be impressed. <laughs> so. they're, all, they're all corvids. Part of the corvids oh, family. corvids are small. Oh, this isn't that many one of the, uh, of the family of corvids. You don't know what I mean. Do no, I don't. No. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so I think that probably wraps it up, doesn't it? Yeah. No new products to tell anybody about apart from that? Um, we've a couple of things um, that I can't recall. A couple of new we'll Adafruit things. Save There's it for the next week. Adafruit Etsy Bitsy M4 Express, which is kind of like halfway between a circuit playground and a trinket. Okay. It's kind of like... But... Um, the good thing about the M4 is that it's got like loads of. Um, it is. It's got loads of everything. Yeah, loads, it of, everything, loads of everything. Yeah. It's really, really fast. And it's got it ain't your of, granddaddy's micro. Yeah, <laughs> it's like way faster than the, the M0, M0s. No, something like yeah. <laughs> Do you know yeah, they're so popular? We've we've only got three left. <laughs> well, <laughs> so yeah. there you go. Uh, so they're cool. That's the one. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Three left. Goodness me. Maybe we should have advertised that one. Um, so on us, can the Nature Watch camera capture video? It cannot, I believe, but there's another thing called Motion iOS, which oh. is kind of set up for that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so if you want to use uh, Motion iOS, then... <laughs> Apparently I'm the most normal looking person. He's not normal. He's not normal. You, 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 really, you really Scottish. don't know me. <laughs> so yes, um, if you wanted to use Motion um, iOS, then if you go to our Learn site, then there is somewhere the uh, tutorial for it. So there's oh, a tutorial yeah, that yeah. Sandy's written. So yeah. you can use the same tutorial. That's um, it in a suckery octopus housing. But if you were using your Nature Watch Cam, the the same principle should work. So all the details on how to do that are there. And there's Sandy looking even more normal in a photo. <laughs> we should have mentioned that the, the Octocam kit mm. is pretty much the same thing as the Nature Watch kit, except mm. you get 
a nice octopus that you can it's stick like to your you do, you do stick to your window. To stick it. It is completely it. hopeless so, outdoors, though. Yes. Yeah. So if you wanted to want to stick to the inside of a window, that one will work really well. Or if you already have an Octocam kit and you want to use it the same as a NatureWatch kit, then you can just Instead burn the software. Burn the you can, and the you could probably card. use the loot box that it comes in to be the case to take it outside. <laughs> yeah. That's but, not bad. But yeah, don't rely on it. It's been watertight. Um, There's a lot of gaffer tape involved, yeah. probably. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 So that's that's us. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share Comment. and all of all of the things yeah. and yeah. tell your friends. Cool. We want more people watching and asking us bizarre questions on the chat Absolutely, live. Yeah. That would be good. And we'll see you next week. Yeah. Indeed. Hit the black bye button. Bye. The black button. The black, the black button. button. Bye. bye.